Hello there, I am Giant Quota. Welcome to my July monthly update video for 2016. First of all, I wanna I wanna just announce that um if I go to my calendar here. Um well first I should actually just go to my browser. Um first I wanna thank you guys for fourteen uh not uh, fourteen hundred one. Okay, I guess you could say one thousand four hundred one subscribers. Um I'm back at fourteen hundred subscribers, which is nice. I lost sixteen subscribers. I went from like I think four thousand uh, 4,000, 1,411 subscribers down to 1,395 subscribers. So I lost 16 subscribers, and that's due to probably most likely, I'm pretty sure most likely, it's due to the um, YouTube purge where um, they they've gone through you know a bunch of channels, maybe not all the channels, but like it's been happening to a lot of people. But um, it's where they go around and they go delete some inactive um. Accounts and they take away subscriptions for the inactive accounts. And uh, for example, if I uh, let me see here, if I type in we like to play, like to play, they go, they change their names. It was we 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 like to pray, but um, if you watch this video, Chris um of we like to pray explains why they changed their name. Basically, because um. When they were going to conventions and stuff, and they were like, "Hey, um, I, uh, we have a YouTube channel," and you know, they were talking to people about it, and they're like, "Okay, I'll write it down," and then they're like, "Okay, what is it?" And then they say, "Like, we like to pray," um, but then it was like hard to. It was just it's easier that they change their name because um, it's more easier to pronounce and understand and tell people about. So that's why they changed the name basically, but like they were at um. 500,000 subscribers, and I think they were doing like a 500 subscriber special soon. Like a couple of days ago, they were at 500,000. Actually, maybe a couple of weeks ago, actually, because they've had 500,000 subscribers for a while. But I'm guessing basically because of the same thing, the YouTube inactive accounts thing, they kind of just deleted the subscriptions. And I kind of get why, because it's inactive accounts, and you know, I mean, it's inactive users, and they're just trying to clean it up. But like, I still believe that at one time they just hit the subscriber button and they should still count as a subscriber but that's just my opinion so like they're at 400,000 497,433 subscribers which kind of stinks because they lost 3,000 subscribers I only lost 16 but I'm like a small time YouTube channel so let's go back to my channel I guess so I just want to put that example out there so if I go to my about tab Oh, and also thank you guys for 769,825 total uploading videos. That's awesome. Um, my YouTube, my seven year anniversary on YouTube is coming up in three weeks. It's on July 4th. I mean, my count of, you can see that July 24th of 2009. We're in 2016 now. So in three weeks on the 24th, I'm filming this on a Sunday night at like 8.46, you know, 33 seconds and counting. <laughs> but, um... Uh, mine's on a Sunday. I don't know what I'm going to do yet exactly. I think I'm going to do a live stream. But I could change it or something. Um, I don't know what game I'll live stream. If I do this, I'd do a live stream for my um, uh, 7 year anniversary. But like, I'm, I've am i been on YouTube for almost 7 years and that's pretty cool. Like, I, every, dang it, I'm going to have to go to channels and then about. Um, let's see here. Um, let's see here. Um. Well, that was my train of thought. Yeah, I always say like, hey, I've been on YouTube for six years now. And um, I'll probably change this to almost seven years, actually. Let me do that right now. Okay, I've been on YouTube for almost seven years now. Seven, there we go. And if I go to my channels again. Um, I, oh yeah, I might as well give a shout out. SNG is a, my collab channel. I do it with um, CM the VTBC, Matt Pisslord, Michael DF, and Gus Thysop, a golf guy. We've been doing our channel for five years now. Um, I don't know if it says we have like 296 videos. That's pretty cool. Um, and then I have my inspirations. Super Scrimo is my first inspiration. I found him first on YouTube. I, I've been watching him since 2009, which is pretty cool, which was when I made my YouTube channel, of course. And then Maryland, I found him, um, I think I s started watching his, I started watching Super, uh, it's not Super, I guess, Super Scarmory and Maryland's, um, Pokemon Diamond playthroughs, or lots, lots of walkthrough for 
She prescribed me a nanny. Uh, I was male in Pokemon Diamond Adventure. And I found Shaker Kong Roy. I um, started watching these three guys. And I think Bob LP is too. Oh, it was Bob on 937 at the time, but then he switched over to Bob LPs. I started watching these four guys in 2009. And then I, st then I watched, uh, started watching Lulu in 2010. And then Nintendo Pikachu in 2010. I don't think it was um, still. I think I started watching uh, Yo Shiller in 2004, 2011. And then if I scroll down some more. I started watching Glam 3 in 2011. I started watching his new Survivor as we uh, let's play with Dad Mac 339, I believe. And I watched PD1 all around 2011 as well. And then Josh Jepson, I watched. I started watching 2012. And then Red Falcon Games, I started watching in uh, 2012 as well. And then We Like to Pray, I started watching in 2012. Uh, Kung Fu, also 2012, and I started watching like, My Brother in 2013. So these are like my inspirations, basically, and I really do thank them because they inspired me to make my YouTube channel, or you know, um, started mo motivating me to make videos and stuff. And if I go to my video manager, this last thing before you get to Super Mario Land 2, with six gold coins, you can see by the title of the game I'm going to play for this update monthly update video. Uh, I have 919 videos and I should show this too. Let me just bring it up here. Let's see. I have um, all these videos ready to upload. Um, basically I counted these like 21 videos and I'll have a guaranteed um, 940 videos soon in about three weeks. Maybe by the time my seven year anniversary comes around, I'll have all these all uploaded. Except for probably one, because like, for that upload day, I'll probably upload, of course, um, the celebration video for seven years on YouTube. So, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 60 videos away from 1,000. I don't know what I'm going to do for my 1,000 video, though. So, yeah. Other than that, I think that's all I wanted to show here. So, let me close up my browser. Let me close up this. Um... I'm gonna switch over to Super Mario um, Land 3, 6 own coins. I'm gonna base basically um go playing the game till I'm tired or something. I don't know. Till I get tired. Yeah, that sounds about right. So let me switch over to that right now. So let's see here. Let's this game. Well, actually, I had to um I'll put my headphones in actually. Okay, here we are um at the um layout. I'm gonna explain um my layout. This is my um new layout for um my um live streams but i'm gonna show this video off right now because i haven't showed off my new layout actually um basically the reason why i took out archiving the chat in twitch or not twitch but youtube gaming is because i've got a lot of inappropriate comments and besides youtube gaming chat is like the only thing i don't like about youtube gaming really is that there's like 25 to 20 to 25 second delay on the chat which is really really um I mean, that's the only thing I really don't like about YouTube gaming, as I said. So, because of those two reasons, I started to not just archive the chat anymore. Like, I got yeah, inappropriate comments in my last like, couple of live streams. So, um, no, it was just it was just basically the Super Nintendo Guys live stream that we did. That we had to scrap because it was um, the audio quality wasn't that good. And it didn't really make a difference if I actually made that in the final cut. I'm sorry if any of the Super Nintendo Guys members are watching this video. I just... Decided not to like even edit the, the um, the live stream way like because we ended up having to take, uncheck the box for the live YouTube gaming live stream chat because there's a lot of inappropriate comments, and I guess since it's YouTube gaming and YouTube, there's gonna be those you know people who just say inappropriate things, and I just don't want that on either Super Nintendo guys, on both Super Nintendo guys and my own channel because that's just I don't I don't really like that. I mean it makes. You know, it makes it weird and stuff, and it's not a good situation, honestly. That's why I did that. So let me explain the layout. Um, on the top of the left corner, you see a Grotal and a Giant Grotal and um, Starburst text from CoolText.com. To the right of that, you see a YouTube Gaming logo. Next to the, to the right is a live stream message. It's mostly going to be Hello there, I'm Giant Grotal. Welcome to the live stream of this video. Thank you for stopping by. But for example, if I do do a live stream for my 7th year anniversary video for my 7 years on YouTube on the 24th of July, as I said, I will, um, Put like a different less message like saying um happy five, seven years on youtube or it's not that's cool on the bottom left corner you see uh feel free to check it 
all of my social media pages and you see a YouTube logo with a giant girl text. A Twitter logo with giant girl text and a Facebook logo with giant girl text. Because I have a YouTube channel, of course. I have a Twitter and I have a Facebook fan page. So that's why that's there. And I really do like this layout. It makes it so like you have more preview screen for the game and uh, the chat's not there again, as I said. But it's just I don't want to read a comment. And then like 20 seconds later, um, it finally just popped up on the, um, you know, the um, stream, the layout. You know, it, I just, I'm not going to go for that really. I might um, go back to showing the chat um, maybe sometime in the future. But as of right now, I'm just going to keep like this actual like like this. So it's very unlikely that I actually go back to, you know, um, showing the chat unless I switch back to Twitch. But I don't, I don't plan on going back to Twitch at all anytime soon. So I really like YouTube gaming because I get more of an audience and and I just like YouTube gaming more. But other than that, previews on the screen just all are done, so let's get started. So I have this file that has two um, completed levels, the first level and the first level in the tree zone. But I'm going to start a new game. And if you press select, which in my case is the on my game controller because I'm using a game adapter and the Visual Boy Advance to record this. Um... Yeah, so you can switch to easy mode, but I'm gonna go hard mode, and right here is your to delete a file, I guess. I could delete A right now, I guess I'll do that. And it looks, it looks really cool, it's just, my spins out like a rocket, you know? So yeah, let's get started with file A then. So the first level is this mushroom place, but it's like the first level, you can't really exit out yet, you have to beat the first level. You start with 5 lives and 0 coins, and the max coins you can get is 999. You can basically buy coins, and to the right of the top right of the screen, that little house right there, I don't know if you can see it, but, well I can see it of course, but that house right there, top right corner, you can buy, you can exchange those coins for like lives and power ups and stuff, which we'll get to later. So let's start level 1. Let's do this. Um, and also, um, before you start any level on easy mode, I'll say easy mode. And then, um, but for hard mode or regular mode, I want to say it, you'll, um, you'll start with, um, just start with the level without the preview, I guess. So here's your first mushroom in the game. Let's grab it. And, it, like, a cool thing you can do this game is, like, if you jump and then press down on the D-pad, you can spin. And that's, like, how you can do a spin jump in this game and break blocks, which we'll get to later. I'll show you that later when the time comes. So, yeah, happy, um, July. I'm actually making this video, um, on the 3rd of July, as you, as you can see. Um, and I don't know if I'll upload it on the 3rd of July, because I'm recording this at, like, 9 o'clock at night. I don't know if I can edit it and upload it on the same day, but that'd be cool. But I'm not going to aim for that. It might be, it might be July 4th till you see this video. Well, actually, it will be July 4th till you see this video, because I already uploaded a video for today. And I wanted to stick to, like, one upload a day. I do have, as I said, I do have 21 videos ready to upload, but I want to kind of spread them out, because I want to, I don't want to flood you guys' um, subscription boxes with a lot of videos, because I want to spread out my uploads, so, um, you have something to, well, like, one video to look forward to every day, so you like, not you're not going to get a headache from all the videos that I do upload. If I do decide to upload, I might do two uploads a day or something. Maybe if I do miss a day, I'd usually do a double upload the next day or try to. As you see, I, I've been trying my best with all this. I don't think you can know this pipe. But yeah, that's basically about it. Um, okay, um, I'm really happy that I reached 1,400 subscribers again. That's pretty cool. And uh, losing 16 subscribers wasn't that big because... um. It was only 16 subscribers, and I got basically I've got six back, so I'm miss I'm only 10 away from having the original, um, 1,411. And basically, right here when you grab the star, you just want to keep on running, so you can get all these one upset. I'm up to nine lives right now. That's cool. Oh yeah, these blocks. Um, if you spin and jump, they don't break. If you spin and jump, they don't break because you need a fire fire to break those. But these right here, if you spin and jump, you can break them. It just depends on how the blocks look. So I have to pay attention to that. And just for fun, I'll break all those. I got another one episode and I'm up to 10 lives now. I don't think they count zero in this game for lives. But in Super Mario, some Mario games like Super Mario 64, they do count zero as a life. If I go all the way back here, I think I, yeah, I already, okay, never mind. If you bring this bell right here, there's a, it's a checkpoint, so it's like a halfway point, so that's good. But I won't need it, I just wanted to bring the bell just so I could hear it and then, uh, I, so I could explain it. But here's a uh, fire flower. Kind of look like an Indian in this game with a fire flower. 
And I'm making, uh, and I'm sorry for there's no color in this game. It's a, uh, it's often emulated the Visual Board Advance, so it's gonna be a black and white. But I haven't had a black and white video in a long time, actually. I don't remember the last time I had a black and white video. I don't think I've ever had a black and white video, to be honest. Like, I uh, maybe, but like I always have my videos in color because they're video games. But it's a good change of pace. I mean, it's just showing basically that this is this game for was for the like Nintendo Game Boy, so it's gonna be it's gotta be black and white basically. Unless you're playing this on Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Advance SP, but I kind of like it. You know, it's a good it's a good change of pace. As I said, I have 155 seconds left. Also, I have 86 coins right now. Uh, that that Goomba or enemy looking thing, I have nine. That's your enemy kill counter. So if I, I kill this, I kill this Cooper right there. I it went up to ten. It went from nine to ten. So like that's pretty cool. I think every fifty to, I think it's a hundred. Every hundred enemies kill, you get a one up. So that's good thing. Good thing that they keep track of. I guess it's kind of cool. If you ring this bell, you'll get a bonus game for like an item or one up or whatever. But if you just go through the door. Like if you're small, and you, or if there's a circumstance where you can't actually get the flagpole, because say you got rid of all these blocks, and you couldn't get back up here, um, you would um, just go through the regular door and you want to get a bonus game, but if you ring the bell, like I said, you'll get a bonus game. So I'll show that off in a second, because, yeah. And there's a little kind of chime there for when you can read the level. I'm going to go for the three up. I don't know if I can time this right, but hopefully. I, 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 oh man, I didn't time it right. I went too, way too early. Because the 3-up just passed right there. I was so impatient with that. I'm sorry, guys. Basically, I'll go over here and show you this. Um, let's see here. There's fireworks going on. It's because it's the 3rd of July, I guess. 4th of July is tomorrow. So, um, or maybe if I'm holding this today, I'll say happy 4th of July, everyone. Yeah, um, that's pretty cool. So there's a uh, tube for, um, you just have to press A. You don't need to do up and A to go up the pipe. Just press A. There's one for 30 coins. There's one for 50 coins. There's one for 200 coins. If you want to gamble all your coins that you, um, that there's still fireworks. Okay. If you want to gamble, um, all your coins, your max coins that you can get 999, as I said before, you can do that. I usually do that just because I really like gambling on my coins, but that's not till I get to like the second zone or third zone that I get 999 coins, but you get coins really fast. For example, I should have just, I'll just um do the 30 and the 50 for example, because it'll be 80 coins, I'll have 8 left over. It's my lucky number. It's your 31st. Um, so basically there's like a roulette thing, and if you press A, and time it, well I guess you can time it a little bit, you'll get a prize. If you land on that little witch thing though, you won't get a prize. No, I... Dang it! I got rid of my fire flower for that. Dang it! Okay, hope I can get something back. 50 coins now. So the prizes get better as more coins you pay up, uh, the more coins you get, or the more coins you're willing to wager, I guess you could say, or bet on. So yeah, I have 10 lives, 8 coins now, but let's see if I can get something good. Yeah, I got my, I got, I got a carrot, which makes me look up with money, and you can fly with it, which is actually really good for the, um, for the tree zone that you were gonna get. I've actually considered doing this game for, um, uh, Let's Play, preferably, um, but the thing is, um, the, the, the final boss in this game, spoilers, um, sorry, I'll put a spoiler before I got to this point, um, so, um, the final boss in this game, if you don't know, or if you do want to know or not, it is Wario, and he is really hard, his Warrior's Castle, which is Richard Mario's Castle, but Wario took it over, is really hard and even on easy mode it's hard <laughs> and I've never been able to like beat it except for like one time so that's like the only thing holding me back from doing let's play on this game maybe in the future I'll do it but as of right now I'm just not feeling up to it I want to be able to complete the game as of right now but every but the tree zone is the first zone and first official zone I believe and it's the easiest so let's get started it's tree zone I tried using the control stick on my game controller, but I remember I set it for my D-pad when I calibrated it for the emulator. And if you're wondering what, um, what, um, Game Boy Adapter, not Game Boy Adapter, GameCube Adapter I'm using. I'm using the, um, May Flash GameCube Adapter. It's an off-brand GameCube Adapter I got from Amazon for about 15 to $20. It was really, it was really worth the money because it works on my Wii U and it works on my computer. I've, I've found in the future that, dang, I got hit. I found in the future that, um, uh, the regular Nintendo brand GameCube adapter, um, it, um, he has a five hour. It doesn't really work on my computer that well, unless I can, unless I can install this driver and the software, and I've never been able to get it work, but it does work on the Visual Boy, I believe. Um, but 
I like the um, I honestly like the main flash GameCube adapter for my um, uh, for my visual board events because it's just plug and play. As all I have to do is switch it to the PC mode because there's a switch on it that says PC, and it, of course it says Wii U too. So yeah, it works really nice. There's no lag. Um, I do have to calibrate in um, visual board advance, which is a pain because like for some reason it likes to when I select a button, uh, um, button to calibrate, it, 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 like scrolls down to um all the other you know, buttons, and I have to quickly just press the button to calibrate it, which that's the only thing I complain about, but, like, as long as I don't run Visual Board Vents without it plugged in to the USB port, it it stays calibrated, which is really nice. So that's really nice. And in hard mode, you'll see that, I'm pretty sure that Dragonfly thing wasn't, um, in easy mode, so, like, some of these enemies are only in hard mode, because it's hard mode, apparently. So, yeah, I almost got hit again there. Uh, if, you, if you're if you small, you can go through here and get those three coins, and there's a path of ways, like another three coins right there. So yeah. Uh, I stress I stress this a lot. I've said this a lot in my videos. I've said this on Super Nintendo Guys once, when Gus was coming back from Minnesota to visit and hang out with us for a Super Nintendo Guys video, which um, we actually did a live stream instead. Which, if you haven't seen that live stream, you can go check it out. Yes, I'll put the link in the description below. Um, but, um, what else I guess I say? We're at the end of level, so that's good. But, um, if I can ring this bell. What's my train of thought? There's about... Oh yeah, the GameCube adapter. The ga Okay, so, the GameCube adapter I'm using right now, and the Nintendo brand GameCube adapter, only works for one game. Well, actually, I correct myself. May Flash, um... The May Flash GameCube adapter works for any game on the Visual Boy Advance. So, I'll take that back. So, but the Nintendo brand GameCube adapter... Can all, there's so many fireworks in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but yeah. But um, that's what I was saying. The GameCube adapter for the Nintendo brand, um, the Nintendo brand GameCube adapter, basically, it only works on one game, and that's Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U. One game. It doesn't work for any of the Virtual Console games. It doesn't work for Mario Kart 8. It doesn't work for just. It just doesn't work for any game but Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. And Nintendo just really hates making money. Me and Matt, Sam, and I always say that. Like, Nintendo just really hates making money. And I'm not trying to diss on Nintendo or anything, but, like, I'm, giving, I'm trying to give constructive criticism. Because, let me try to do this. Um, it's just timing really. The mice will chew on a wire. Let's see what I get, though. I'll do the third one. Uh, looks like I get a fire flower, so I, it's neutral. I already have a fire flower, but that's okay. As long as it doesn't override my fire flower with another mushroom. Jeez. But, um, yeah. It only works on one game, and that's really frustrating because, like, even if you're trying to play, like, Brawl, Super Smash Brothers Brawl, or, like, Mario Kart Wii, on the Wii part of your Wii U, there's another Fire Flower, but I won't get it really. I might get it for the points, but I don't think I get points for this, actually, in this game. Nope, I don't. But that's okay. But, um, if you're playing Super Smash Brothers Brawl for the Wii, and then Mario Kart Wii on, the, on your Wii U, because you can't play Wii games on the Wii U, because it's backwards compatible, you can't use the GameCube adapter. It just doesn't work, which is really, st which really stinks, because like you really want to. It makes good sense to play like a, a, a normal 480p game from the Wii, because the Wii only went up to 480p with component cables, and it wasn't even 720p. But the Wii U was 720p at we at, at the um, lowest quality. But um, but um, well, you could use your Wii cables and make a composite too, but it'd be like 40i. You still the cables and stuff, which I still have my cables for my Wii, of course. But, um, as I was saying, if you want to play like a 720, if you want to upgrade the quality of the 720, or like, um, 480, 720 or 1080p, depending on what TV input you have and how you set up, how your setup is for your Wii U, you can't really use the GameCube controller for that, which really stinks, because you have to, to use a GameCube controller basically for those games, is you have to play them off your Wii still. And, I don't know why there's a buzzy beetle. If you stomp on it like this, it'll turn it'll turn into bomb. Don't get hit like me, and then it'll explode. So you want to move out of the way. But like, it's why didn't they make it for more games, especially for virtual console? For like the N64 games, like Ocarina of Time, Super Mario 64, because you have to use the Pro Controller for that, the Wii Pro Controller for that. I'm pretty sure that's like the only controller that you can use. So like, it just boggles my mind how they don't like making money like that. It's just, it's so simple. Sam said in the past, and he, he brings up a good point, it's not about the GameCube adapter, but like he said something about like how fire, fire, fireballs won't work on these buzz beetles. 
Um, but he says that um, why didn't he made a good point? Like, why didn't Nintendo just import the um, N64 library or any of the Virtual Console games uh, from the Wii right away? Because like I remember a couple of days ago, maybe a week ago, Nintendo finally announced that they they um, released like Super Mario RPG for the N64 on. The, um, I'll take the carrot out because I can fly. I'll show you some mechanic real quick. If you jump and then keep on tapping A, you can fly. Go glide, whatever. How do you want to say it? Oh man. I'm going to have to just jump on this guy. That didn't work. Okay, I'm going to get hit. I'll take the hit. I might have to take two hits. Yeah, I knew it. Two hits. Okay, and I'm small. I got a 1 up, so I'm up to 12 fives. But like, I forget what I was saying. Sam, about um the Wii U virtual uh not importing the n64 library yeah that wouldn't be too hard honestly but yeah you only th you can only use the pro controller on the um on those games for the wii u's virtual console i'm gonna die if i don't be careful i died first death of the video i guess you could say i had a good run okay i don't think that i, I think i think yeah i got the checkpoint good that's good I won't go that way actually because it's a little bit harder as if, if my memory serves me right. I'll grab this mushroom though. I'll take care of this buzzy beetle. I don't like end up getting hit again. So yeah. I'll get these coins. These this is like jelly or something that makes you like be able to like f I don't I don't know I don't know the word like float through it or flow through it, jump through it. Like it's kinda weird. It's honestly kinda weird. Almost got, almost fell on spikes again, jeez. I think this is a power-up, or if it's, I think it's maybe a one-up. Okay, it's a power-up, cool. Shoot. Well, that's not worth it. If I grab it, I'm gonna hit immediately. I'll just skip over it. I think I'm at the end of the level anyway, so that's good. There's a lot of secret exits in this game. Like, for the example, I think this level has secret exits. I think if they be small, I might show it off if I can. But yeah, but that's basically my con constructive criticism man, on Nintendo. They just really hate making money. And some things, I think this is a secret record right here. Some things that um, Matt, Pissword, and Sam there to be also say is about the amiibo. How they like won't restock amiibo. So it's like really hard to um, collect amiibo. I only have five amiibo. I have Mario. I had Luigi, but I gave Sam my Luigi amiibo for his birthday. And I like keeping my amiibo in box, in the box, so I don't even use them for my Wii U. Which I don't really um, mind, because like, I really like how they look in the box. But as I said, I only have five amiibo. I have, I have, have, I have um, Mario, I have Sonic, I have Pac-Man, which I got for my birthday from Sam. Um, which Pac-Man's actually pretty rare right now, actually. Sonic's pretty rare too, but I have Mario, I have Sonic, I have Pac-Man, I have Link, and I have Zero Suit Samus. Those are the five Amiibo I have. So yeah. And we're at the end of the level, but if I can do this right, I can get the bell. There we go, nice. So yeah. Oh wow, uh, this video's like 29 minutes now. But yeah, let me see if I can time this right. There's, okay, there's two, okay, I'm gonna probably aim for those two. Let's look at one of them. No, I mistimed it. Oh, I actually got it though. Cool. We have to be up, which is what I wanted. I could have gone for a power-up, but I wanted the extra lives, I guess. So there we go. Now, there's a split path for this. You can go to this level. I, I believe this level is a lot easier than this level, which is with the B. But I'll do both of them. I'll do the hard one first, I guess. Okay, right when you come in, there's going to be a power-up. But you have to watch out for this enemy right here. He might get you if you go too fast. So if I jump on him, that's good. This will be a power up. I hope. I wish it was a firefall. Oh, it is a firefall. Nice. That would give me a mushroom because I was small. So there's always gonna be a firefall. So that's awesome. Because a firefall really helps in this level. If I can get up the pipe, that'd be nice. Okay. 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 You can stop being so mean to me. I don't think those bees die, actually. I don't think you can, the only way you can beat them is you defeat them or beat them or kill them. However you want to say it. Oh my gosh, those bees too. I'm pretty sure um, the only way you can beat them is if you have a star. Which is a couple of stars in this level. I know there's one guaranteed, which I'll show off if I can, if I can which I probably will be able to. These, end up, these bees remind me of th early versions of thwomps for some reason. Because they always come down at you when, you, when they see you or sense you. So they're kind of like early thwomps to me. And this game was made in like... 
Well, I'll look it up in Pretext Story right now, because I don't know exactly what year this game was released. But I think it was in the 1990s, at least. Maybe 1992, if I already guess. Yeah. But yeah, this level is pretty chill. I mean, you just have to watch out for the enemies, really. I wonder if you can stomp on them. Okay, you can beat them by stomping on them. Okay, jumping on them, I should say. That guy you can't be for jumping on though. That guy has spikes. He's out to get you. I don't think any of these... Shoot. I don't think any of these t uh, pipes lead anywhere. Except for that one, of course. I, I ate my own words. Oh gosh, I have to move, I have to move, I have to move. Wait. Oh, that's a spin jump. Okay. If you spin jump on these, you can get the box. And I should be running with my star, but I'm just being picky. Well, I could just ran from my star. I don't, I don't really need those coins per se. This. Okay, I can see on my, I can see on my OBS right now that every time they shoot a firework, I must hit there because I was looking at the OBS instead of my Virtual Boy, Virtual Boy Band screen. This is where the star is. I see that every time I talk or be silent, there's like a, there's like a spike in the my commentary because there's fireworks blasting in the background. Ah, uh, this reminds I this reminds me of a time when I was still doing Pokemon Platinum back in like 2012, and I was in my room recording. I you know I, I record the I record my DS and 3DS games with um my cap camcorder, which I haven't done a DS game in a long time. I recorded a DS game in a long time because I have to set up my tripod and everything, and I'd rather have like good quality instead of camcorder quality on them because I don't have a 3DS capture card. I don't have a DS capture card. Um. There's a star right here, I believe. So if I ring the bell first and then come back to it, yeah, that sounds good. I'll ring the bell. But like as I was saying, in 2012, I was facing Byron of Pokemon Platinum, and those that was a, that was like right after those videos got deleted. Oh, I, well, I think it was Pokemon Diamond actually. Yeah, Pokemon Diamond. So that was like, like 2011, 2010, somewhere on there. Um, but I was facing Byron, the 16 badge, and like my neighbors were blasting fireworks and. My backwards backyard neighbor, I guess you could say, was blasting fireworks, and he was being really loud with fireworks. So uh, I'll just do that. Okay, I think there's a, I think there's a star in here. I'm pretty sure there's a star in here. That's not a good idea to do. One of these blocks. Dang it! I fell. Okay, that's okay though. I don't think I can get it. Well, I still can get it. Oh my gosh, that's what I get for trying to look for a star. I'm pretty sure there's a star in that room. But anyway, my backyard's neighbor, he was blasting fireworks and being loud. I don't think it showed up in that recording because my camcorder didn't have that sense of a mic. And I didn't use a mic for those um, videos because I just used my camcorder mic. So, yeah, I got the checkpoint there, so that's good. Let's try this again. But, like, he was blasting fireworks. I'm going to get mushroom at least, right? Okay, good. That's a power up, that's nice. What the end of level almost too. She kinda of thinks I died twice so far and I was really close to the end. If you're small you can get those blocks, those are little blocks right there. But he's being really loud and I was like, stop it, that's not very nice. Here's an invisible block somewhere. There's an invisible block right there, so that helps you get you the um bell. Now this is like rather easy because it's not spread out. It's not that big of a jump to get the bell, so that's nice. But yeah, he was making a lot of noise and didn't really show up in the video, but those videos got deleted off my memory stick. I, if you watch my Pokemon Diamond update video, you'll understand why. Like for some reason I had to format my I had to format my memory stick, so I lost like my Rapidash just evolved, so that was like right after Iron Island, but I lost everything up to Snowpoint City, the Snowpoint City gym. Or maybe even the No, I I lost everything up and past Snowpoint City, so on the road to Shiny Shore, because I miss catching that, I miss showing you guys Dialga in that game, I miss showing you guys, I'll just do this, I miss showing Dialga, Azelf, Mistbrit, and Yuxi, and I miss showing you guys Byron's Battle on Diamond, I miss showing, showing um, you know, Candice's Battle in Diamond, but I showed like an update video, of course, or made a makeup video where I showed like the movesets and everything, but I couldn't battle them because I already battled them and saved. I beat Timmy Galactic, but I didn't get to show you guys in the game. That's why I started Pokemon Platinum right after Diamond, because I, I felt like I owed you guys because I, you missed like 30 parts or something like that. Maybe at least 30 parts if I were to guess. I'm gonna do this level next. But yeah. And I felt really bad, so I did Pokemon Platinum right after, and Matt was like, why did you do Pokemon Platinum right after, you know, um, after Pokemon Diamond? And I said, like, 
Well, because I wanted to make up for, you know, not d sh being able to show you guys, like, Misfit and Ourself. Oh, there's a secret one up there. Cool. So, yeah, there we go. As long as you jump like I did, you'll get it. So, that's nice. I don't know when these guys are. Oh, that one shoots fireballs. No, I jumped too late. I, I, I was like, hey, that's not going to hit me. But then I was like, dang it, because it hit me. And I'm small now. But this level helps if you have a bunny car or a carrot or a bunny suit or whatever, however you want to call it. So yeah. Oh my gosh, that is not fair. Like I, I know I took, I that's what I get for taking my time and being slow. I didn't get the checkpoint because it's too early in the level. But I have 14 lives, so that's good. Okay. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. I'm gonna try to get the one up again too. What the heck? Where'd you come from? For some reason, these enemies remind me of Heracross, because they look like Heracross, and they have the wings and the and the, like the, the the little stem thing, or whatever you want to call it, the horn, however you call it, whatever that is. It's like that that reminds me of Heracross for some reason. I almost died. I almost got hit too. Let me get the one up again. That's neutral. <laughs> I have 15 lives again. Yay. Cool. I'm gonna just jump over this fireball like a smart guy and then just quickly maneuver and wait for this piranha plant to do its business. It didn't hit me though, so that's good. I'm gonna jump over this fireball, or not fireball, fireball. There we go. See, I'm playing a lot better this time around. And again, it helps if, I, if you have a bunny suit or carrot cow up. Because you can just fly. We'll get one in a little bit. Here's a one up. So just quickly beat it out and then get the one up. I'm at 16 lives now. Okay, if I just slam there, I don't, the only thing you can kill these butterflies is with fire fire and you have to be quick because they fly away as soon as you get near them. So yeah, that's cool, but I don't like, I don't like killing those butterflies because they seem innocent. I almost fell, but the thing about this level is if you fall, you can probably follow the low level where you don't die. It kind of reminds me of like the mechanics of Tick to Walk Clock from Mario Kart, my Mario Kart from Super Mario 64. I'm going to take the low road and get all these coins. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to do that. Because the high road doesn't look fun. You don't get coins. You have to avoid a fire, a fire breathing fireball piranha plant. There's another secret one up. Wow. Take it to high road right here because you'll, 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 you. I think this is where the end is where you get the bell easier. There we go. So if you take the high road, you can easily get the bell if you still have the carrot power up. So that's good. Um, I'll try to get one ups again. Let's see here. Um, two there. Okay, so it's after a fireball. Okay. Not that fire fire, but um, this one coming up, hopefully. No, I messed it up. Dang it. Okay, I'm gonna keep my bunny ears. I messed it up. I, I looked too late. So here's the first boss in um, Super Mario Land 2, 6 Golden Coins. And I'll probably end up the video after I beat the, um, after I beat the, um, bird. And I didn't show Warrior's Castle, which I wanted to show you the six empty slots in the entrance, but we'll get to that later after I beat the bird. Ah! Hey, my laptop's not plugged in. Jeez. I've been recording this whole video and my laptop hasn't been plugged in. I didn't drop any frames because this is recording, so that's good. So yeah, let's plug, in our, let's plug in my laptop. Sorry for that little freeze there. I mean, good thing I plugged it in, at least. I think this is a carrot. Nope, it's a power. I'd rather have my bunny suit. Or carrot power, however you want to say it. However you want to say it. Three in a row, three in a row. Okay, I almost got four in a row. I almost got four Goombas in a row. Pair of Goombas, I guess you could say. Now these owls remind me of Harry Potter, but I don't think there's a, these oversized owls in Harry Potter. So that's like... But for some reason, these owls remind me of Harry Potter. I don't know why. I don't know. I, I'm a weird... I'm a weird guy sometimes. I'll just say that. I'm a weird guy. So yeah, these owls will help you out, which is way really nice. They, you can't kill them, which is good, because they actually help you out. I don't want to kill them, because they're nice too. They make a hoo sound, which is really, really soothing. It's just really soothing to the ears. Um, y sometimes you don't want to get the checkpoint in this level, because um, you might not get like another bunny suit if you die, or carrot power up. But um, wait, wait does that want to power up or not? Or is it just a coin? Let's see. Let me see. Cause this video is 40 minutes now, um, I don't, 40 minutes in real time I should say, in recording time. These will go around in a square path, that's cool. Oh yeah, that's a carrot, okay, what's this one, is it a coin? Dang it. Let's just fly. 
Um. Oh gosh, dang it! I won't even bother with that. That tried to push me off. I'm gonna go the dangerous one and get all these coins. I don't know about you guys, but I like doing that. Okay, <laughs> never mind. I'll just do this. I have to like, space it out. There we go. I could have made it basically on the first try, but I want to be careful. If you just stomp on these Goombas, they're kind of trapped in there. This one falls to his death. Well, that one did, I mistimed it when I hit it, though. So yeah, we're almost to the end, and there'll be a tube. So keep that in mind, which is right here. Now for this boss, there's going to be six bosses in the game, and once all six of them are holding a coin, a golden coin that you need for the entrance to your warrior's castle, I guess you could say. But for this battle, it's so easy because all you have to do is do what I'm doing, and it's a three hits like an anime game, but then after that, it's just, that's all there is to it. It's the easiest boss in the game in my opinion, it's the first zones as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, there's basically the entrance to Mario Land 2, which is, you know, Warrior's Castle, or Mario's Castle, that took it, has been taken over by Wario. But you get six coins. You need six coins to, um, open it. And there's a little tree on that coin, too. So if I go over here, the way, after you get all six coins, is you have to, um, like, if I can press the right buttons on my D-pad, that's be nice. Okay, so if you go right here, it's a long walk, but, um, there's, you know, warrior on the top of the roof right there, as you saw. But you can't really enter through it without six coins. So, you have to come back. But there's warrior on the castle again. And it's a warrior, it's a W instead of M because he took it over. And warrior is big in this game. It's like his first appearance, I think. I think this game, out, this game came out before Warrior Land 1 for the Game Boy. Instead of Game Boy. But I could be wrong. Um, right here is just a scrolling level. But I won't, I won't want to show it because this video has been like 43 minutes, or 42 minutes in recording time. But yeah, um, let me explain all the bosses though real quick. Um, I show, uh, not really show, but I'll tell you guys all about the bosses. Now if you take this um, this little bubble level, this guy makes bubble. this machine makes bubbles for some reason. It's one level and then you have to beat the level to get the sky zone, which I believe is the second boss. But it's a, it's a hard second boss. Sky Zone basically is, um, you see that moon right there? Moon and star right there? I can't really show it. I have to go in between, but you keep on seeing those moon and star. That's, um, Space Zone, as far as, I think it's Space Zone, yeah. And that's the second, um, zone. It's only two levels, but they're hard, actually. But, like, I remember the second level, the boss level. Um, it's, the song went like do 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 and it kept on repeating like that. But the boss in that um zone is an astronaut, and the only way I can actually beat him is if I have a fire flower. And there's stars that like are in line to hurt you and they actually take damage that can hurt you and stuff, which is really frustrating actually. But yeah, the astronaut I've only been able to beat with um five hours. I think I've been with the five hour. I think I've been I think I beat him once with um just being big, but that was really hard because he like sways back and forth in like a U shape, he comes down at you and tries to hit you. So the third zone is right here. Um, it's macro zone. I can actually show it because the star zone actually takes a level. You need to be the level. Um, but yeah. Um, I'll actually go to star zone last actually because I think you can only beat star zone, um, if in one, like, sitting. Like, you can't, like, exit it and come back. You have to beat the first level as I sh t told you about before. But here's macro zone. It's basically a house. The, um, it's like four levels. And the last level is like a library. But, um, the boss in this zone is a rat. Which isn't really that hard to beat. He come, he climbs the walls and goes through these four tubes, I believe. But um, be careful because he's passed and he can come down at the top tube and just like hit you. But he, overall, he's just an easy boss, so that's good. Um, right over here is um, let's see here. What if I were to guess? It was um, punk, pumpkin zone. Yeah, pumpkin zone. Let's go to pumpkin zone. Yeah, I was right. Pumpkin zone. The as you see right there, the boss in this zone is a witch. And she is really easy. All she has, to, all she really does is tries to, you know, he, she, she casts fire at you under a pot, and then the wood comes up, and there's spikes above at the top. And that's like the only way she can, she can hurt you, unless you get hit by their fire, or she, she or if she touches you. So yeah, um, I think there's three levels in um this um zone. So she's really easy, but not as easy as the rat or the bird, angry bird, I guess you should say, angry bird. <laughs> 
It's this year's Lego movie. Sam, the real TBC face palms every time I say that, because... But the Lego movie was so much better, but we've heard that Angry Birds, the Angry Birds movie, is actually good and decent, I guess. But that, that movie came out the day, the night I graduated high school, which I thought was really funny, on May 20th. Ah, that's funny. So yeah, there's a lot of secret access in this, um, in this zone. Um, over here, I think, is the fourth zone. Maybe fifth. Let's see, there's the bird, the astronaut, the rat, the, um, the, the witch. This is, um, the three little pigs. This is, like, my favorite boss in the game. The, the last level is Mario's hat, and it's, like, a Lego level, and that's really cool. Sam would really like that level. I don't know if he's played this game, but there's, like, a Lego level, and it's really fun. This is my favorite zone, actually. Because there's three, the three, the boss is, is the three little pigs, which I don't know how that, you know, has to do with a Mario zone, but I'm not complaining. It's really good. The first little pig, you can see, has a, he comes out of a straw hat, straw hat, straw house, and he just rolls around very slow. He's easy to beat with fire, fireballs. Uh, like in the main, the, I've we only really beat this, except for a couple of times, I've only beat this, um, the three little pigs with the fireballs because it's really easy to just have to spam fireballs a lot of times. The um second little pig comes out of his stick house and he um he's he jumps a little bit and is a little bit faster and tries to hit you. And the only way they can hurt you boys is if they jump into you or roll into you. You just have to dodge them and stuff. And the third little pig, the brick comes out of his brick house and he like jumps really high, he stretches out, he he's basically like a big stretchy bouncy ball if I had to put it into words. But this spot, this zone is like my favorite zone, and I like the boss a lot, and it's a lot of fun. So yeah, and finally the sixth boss, this turtle just eats you, but um, it's whale zone? Turtle zone, okay, I could guess by the turtle, that just ate me. I'm alive for that case. The boss in this, um, I think the three little piggies are like the second hardest boss, honestly. But, uh, cause astronaut's the hardest boss in my opinion. Yeah, the second hardest boss would probably be the three little pigs in my opinion. But this is a turtle zone, it's like three levels. I don't know if there's any secret X in this one, but you'd think that the um you know the boss would be that whale, but it's actually an octopus that tries to, you know, hit you with its babies that it spews out, which is kinda gross how I said that. <laughs> Sorry. Um but um it's like an earlier version of a big blooper, like how they just try to hit you with their kids apparently. But it's kind of a boring boss, but it's kind of I think it's the hard, third hardest boss in my opinion because they're in water, I believe, and it's hard to hit them with the octopus. So other than that, um, let's see here. How can I end off this video? Um, I can show you. Yeah, I show you stars in real quick, but before I do that, I'm gonna scan ball my coins again. Let's see, I can um, I can do 230. Okay, I'll do 200 next. So let's see what I get. Let's see. 1-up, nice. Take it now, I'm at 18 lives. And I'll wager my last 30. Let's see how much, let's see. What do I get, what do I get? Another carrot, yay, I'm neut it's neutral. Okay, that's okay though. Okay, let's do um the, fir the first level I was talking about. Um, And I'll show you a star zone. I'll do this level really quickly too, the scrolling level, why not? So you just have to move. This 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 level is a lot easier with a fire flower, because you can kill all these enemies and stuff. Uh, let's see if this is a fire flower. Yep, it's a coin, of course. Don't get smushed by that block. I almost did, actually. Didn't get that Goomba, dang it. I'm at 51 kills for enemies. Ha ha ha. There's a fire flower. Nice. So now I can just go ham on all these Goombas. That'd be nice. One ham on all these Goombas is fun. 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 I'll put it, I'll put a time. I'll put a text overlay saying when the updates actually stopped. Cause at this point it's just gameplay really. Cause I ran out of updates or I don't really have anything to say for updates anymore. Cause I got through them all. So that's good. This video has been 50 minutes in actual recording time. So it's gonna be a long upload. But I hope you guys like this. This is Super Mario Gold Land 2: Six Golden Coins Gameplay 2016. But like I think this game is very underrated. Like, honestly, I just feel like this game is very underrated and people should, like, play it more. You know, there's no bell in this one. There's only, like, a regular goal. So, yeah, let's just take it.
So yeah, I don't think you get anything from these being this whole except for more coins and like enemy kills. So yeah, I'm eight, I have 18 lives, and 9, 4 coins I should say. This level right here, as I was talking about earlier, this machine right here gives out bubbles. And this level is so easy, all you have to do is fall in this bubble and you can just like fly through this level. But if you go right here, there's a, there's a hidden, not really hidden, but there's a, I guess there's a um, out of sight um, one up there, so now I'm up to 19 lives. So this is a lot, this is a lot of time, this is a good level for getting coins too. So yeah, there's a, a sea urchin I guess. If you don't get hit by any of the whales or um, the dolph dolphins I guess, the sea urchins. Um, but you can basically just fight this level, we're just gonna fight through this, this level. So if you go to the top screen, I don't think anything can hit you. Let's see if my theory is correct. I'm just holding the A button right now, that's all you have to do to floor in your bowl. So yeah, they, you can just take this bubble and just fly the level. If you touch the water, you'll get popped out of your bubble, but there's a couple more bubble stations where you can get your big bubble back. So that's good. All you have to do is, I think you won't get hit if you start to stay at the very top. And it's automatic because of the bells right there too. There's two goals if you're, if you're too small and you can't get to the second goal. They put a second goal apparently. Um, I could just skip out on this one, I think. No, I can't. You have to do it. Okay. Let's see what I get. I should get a mushroom. Or no, but I missed that. I'm afraid. Um, uh, funny or a carrot power. -up. Okay, cool. That's cool. Here is space zone. It's like, I think this is my favorite zone musical wise because this music's so great. And if you go to space zone, you actually have a little astronaut helmet. I think I'm not I'm not sure if I can float higher because I have the bunny ears or not, but like there's since you're in space you have a higher jump and stuff because there's less gravity and stuff. So that's really cool. Um this music is just great. I'm gonna see if I can get to the second level actually so I can sh show you guys like how awesome the music is in the second level. Dang it, I got hit. Nope, I got hit again. Shoot. I don't think there's any checkpoints in this zone if I if I remember correctly. This guy's just being a jerk. God, you're a jerk, man. That's not cool. I'm gonna land in spikes, aren't I? Called it. I called it. I called it. Okay. Let's try that again. I really want to try to get the second level. Do 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 This is some great music. I like it a lot. I like it. Fail. Oh, this is coin, of course. Still shooting fireworks. It's just a coin, too. There's a one up there if you want to get it, but I don't know if I can get it. Yeah, it's way hard. I think if they be bigger or something, this is a gimmick. Yeah, because I was like full blast, I was at the end of the block. Let me try one more time. That was not too- okay, I'm gonna try one more time. Well, I guess if you f go right here, and then jump. Oh man, I think you can do it that way. Let me try, let me try. I'm gonna try getting the one up, the power up first, so if I get hit, I can still live, and I won't die. <laughs> That's kind of a weird way to put it, dark way to put it. Oh, come on, how can you not get up there? I guess you have to just do that, and then do that. The game wants me to do it that way, because it's the way it's supposed to, I guess. There we go, I get the one up that time. Let's do this. There's a lot of coins in these first two levels, or two levels I should say. There's the bell. I'll take it. Holding it. Now the first second level you kinda don't want to ring the bell because you might pass up you might miss a power. You won't you're gonna be out of power up then because there's one at the beginning of the level and one at the end I believe. There's one right before you face the astronaut dude. That's his name astronaut dude. If I don't get hit oh my gosh I got hit. Dang it I almost got hit by the pig. I'm gonna call that space pig or something. Oh my gosh I died again. Gotta, I want to show you guys the second level. Oh 
Oh my gosh, I keep on dying. I'm losing my touch. I'm losing my touch. I'm gonna start again. I'm gonna start again. Oh my gosh, this is so hard without power up. This is so hard without power up. Pigs are so mean. Shooting your balls at me? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're shooting my your genitalia. I'm just kidding. I won't go that far. I think we're at the end of the level, so that's good. I don't care about the bell this time. I'm just gonna go for the goal. That one's rather hard to get. Anyway. Okay, I don't get the bonus game. But listen to this music. I'll be quiet here, but just take it all in and enjoy. I know I missed some power ups there, but like, it's just such great music. Um, after I die once, I'll end the video here though. So let me see how far I can get with just this one, with no power ups. But like, you have this, in this level you have like, infinite jumps, but then you have to dodge all these angry stars. But yeah. If you go that way, you get a lot of coins, but I always just t take the low road if I can, especially if I have no power ups. I can just swipe past here too. But yeah, this is, this is just some great music. I really do like this music. I died because I got squished. Okay, I wasn't paying attention. That was a checkpoint, was that? So, yeah. Hold on. I don't know if. I hope my audio is recording. Yeah, I hope it was recording because I've been recording for like almost an hour now. But yeah, so yeah, anyway, this has been my July 2016 monthly update video. Um, again, sorry for being so long, but I just want to stress. How underrated this game is because it's a really good game it's just a really good game I really do like it it's fun it's like one of my favorite Mario games actually and I like it yeah thanks for watching everyone this has been Janko again I would like to thank you again goodbye and hope to see you guys in my next video